I'm Patrick. And I'm Sean. And this is First 60. Where we play a game that we have never played before. We play for 60 minutes, and we record our honest reaction to whatever's happening on the screen. Didn't quite get your fill of arms flying, heads flying, and, well, a lot of things flying, particularly riding? Well, we're back with part two of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance on the PlayStation 3. This game is rated M for Mature and is also available on the Xbox 360. Snake who? That's right, we're in the future. Snake is dead, unfortunately, and Raiden has taken over the show with his lightning action and sword-wielding greatness. Let's hop on a rocket and get back to this game. Boom! He's on a mission now. Yeah. So far, so good. I've got a clean huh. visual. Get them back together. <laughs> yes, <coughs> so, huh? I mean, how does it feel to fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> so a suicidal <laughs> bird. Safely, <laughs> Probably Russian for right. somebody. Doctor. Whoa, who's that on the right? It says Doctor with a K, D O K. Oh man. Gosh, he is. Oh, he is not only a. The, the, he's not only a client, but he's also the president. He looks like the Count. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Look at him. Uh, it's like, uh, one terrorist! Ah, ah, ah. So are they all German? I'm wondering, because Boris... No, Boris is a Russian name, I think. Yeah, Boris no, is not German. Yeah, Boris is Russian. That guy's German. He could be... That guy's awesome! Andre <laughs> Dolce. Leader of the occupation forces, an extremist <laughs> linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Turkey. A massacre we didn't hear anything about. It's happening in two years. Okay. Than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Of course, Desperado. Uh, they're a limited liability company, so you know. If we don't stop them here, they could can only hold them liable to a certain extent. Immediate problem is true. Stream sand. Jetstream Sam. <laughs> is that his full name? I see. Is that nickname? I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out, Justin. No. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Uh, keep an eye out. Uh, I get it. <laughs> I gotta get hey hey right I gotta give you a hand. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Get back to work. Blackie. Right. <laughs> increase the peace, my ass. I'm gonna go slice some more people. This is for peace. Die. Okay. All right. Gotta find the way. I'm, I, I see it. Only I can walk slower. I could like <laughs> look around. No. Not doing that. Oh. Alright, I can open treasure chests with my sword. Ooh, slice couch, slice couch! Oh! Yes! I can slice the couch! Oh! Yes! Yes! Action of my slice. Look at that. It's like I'm flipping a pizza! Yeah, how do you want your pepperoni? Okay. Ryden, if you ever get lost, <laughs> Ryden, you ever get lost. Your next it's hint. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, circle. Oh, baby! That's awesome. Oh, jeez. Have fun. Gecko time. You're done. What's that? It, it's a thing that takes a long time to kill. Gather, gather, gather. Yeah, slice him for a little while, a little while and then get the hell out of here. Hold R1. Hold R1. Like, always hold R1. Because you can run around. Or no, okay, slice it. Aim at it, like hold L1 and then aim down at it. Yeah, there you go. Jeez, I'm, come on. <laughs> come on, don't make me do that. <laughs> Treasure chests are not easy to open in this game. There. I mean, Link, Link, come on, man, use your hands to open it. What is that, a baby's toy? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get the head up. Okay. Oh, shoot, another gecko's over there. Damn it, dude. Alright, cool. That's a grenade, too. Okay, cool. You got one rocket, so use it well. So how do I shoot? I don't know. <laughs> Go after those guys. So okay. They're right there. There. Slice them from on. Circle. Oh. 
Oh, okay. shoot. Now you better run. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh okay, oh, run. okay, you're done. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. L, L, L thing. L thing. Come on, come on, come on, run, 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 run. <laughs> just getting blasted off the grass now, oh, jeez. That, that, that jerk. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, you suck! Jeez, this guy's a pain in the butt! Just stay patient and keep taking shots. <coughs> Plus, you have one more of those potato pace. Okay, he's down, I think. Or not yet. Shoot. Oh, circle, circle, circle! Circle? Come on! Oh, circle! Hey, I'm thinking. Oh, alright. Go finish him off. Hallelujah, good night. Oh, not looking at it, not looking at it. There we go, yeah! Boom! Gosh, insane. Alright. Alright, let's be serious. Let's be serious. Later. Oh, 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 Limbo! Oh, jeez, get out of the way, Kratos. Yeah, Kratos, you're out there. <laughs> oh, whoa. What the heck? What the hell is that thing? And you are. And you are? I am IF prototype LQ. I. Yeah, that really tells me what you are. There's more, there's more. Pick it up, pick it up. Yes. I'm slicing this thing to pieces, I just got enough of them. What? Backup required my butt! It's supposed to be a fight! Can't bring more. Oh, come on! Is this all the human mind is capable of? Oh, you son! You are really human again. Set. Impressive. Impressive. Damn right. Yeah, you're mine now. Superficial oh. damage. Superficial mind. Die. <laughs> Oh, gosh, here we go. I don't think I called anything civilized, actually. No. No. Yes, circle, circle. Yes! Alright! Come on, oh, where did you go? Where'd he go? Oh. Hey, stop running! What the heck? Oh, it's like, what a little chicken. Oh, this... You're wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's enough! He just keeps running! <clears throat> oh wow, this is this is ridiculous. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Go ahead and take it to finish. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah. Alright, right. yes! Thing. Over! Stop yeah, I'm not stopping nothing. See you in hell. Slice him. I can't. Oh. Won't well, let me do anything. I pass, Mom! And that brings us to the end of our playthrough of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Overall, I have to say I enjoyed this game immensely. Um, I have played it all the way to the end. It was a rather short game, unfortunately, but it had a lot of action, and the boss battles were honestly some of the toughest I've ever faced in a game. Since, like, you know, playing, like, old NES games where the bosses were always hard, this was just a ridiculous game to get through, I think, even on easy mode. 
And um, if you're a fan of Hideo Kojima's work for Kojima Productions, then you probably know that he has two more games in the works. He's got Metal Gear Ground Zeroes and possibly the Phantom Pain, which has been allegedly linked to him. So we'll see what goes on with that in the future. I think he said 2014, 2015, something like that. So yeah, this, this isn't the end for a Metal Gear game. We started playing the Metal Gear franchise because our grandfather, who has um, passed away several years ago, enjoyed the games and played them before us on his NES. So as a kid in the U.S., we didn't know anything about the Japanese games or uh, the franchise beyond the NES games. In fact, it wasn't for years later that we would find out that those games didn't even involve the creator of the series, Hideo Kojima, and really he didn't think fondly of them. Yeah, the NES games, Kojima went on to say later that while he, he didn't mind them, he said they weren't his original vision. And, of course, in the first NES Metal Gear game, Metal Gear doesn't even make an appearance. It's a supercomputer, and then you fight Big Boss. Um, but that was our perception. Like I said, like Patrick said, kid growing up in America, we didn't know about like what Kojima deemed the true story. Long live the NES Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> What was your first experience with the Metal Gear franchise? Let us know in the comments on YouTube. You can also find us through Google+, Twitter, and Facebook. All of which you can find through our website at patrickandjohn.com. I feel asleep.